Welcome to the We On Podcast. So let's dive into something pretty wild that happened uh, fairly recently. This asteroid, 2023 EY, came really close. Yeah, remarkably close. We're talking closer than the moon, actually. Closer than the moon. Wow. Okay, how big are we talking? Uh, roughly 52 feet across. So, you know, not enormous on a cosmic scale, but definitely significant. Right, like a small bus zipping past. And how close is closer than the moon? It passed within about, let's see, 239,800 kilometers of the surface. Okay, that sounds alarmingly close. Was there um, any actual danger? Well, that's the interesting part. Despite how near it was, experts were actually quite confident. They tracked its path and uh, confirmed pretty early on that there was no threat of impact. That's reassuring. But it was only <laughs> spotted a few days before. Right? Yeah. How did we even catch it? Uh, that's down to a system called ATLAs. It stands for Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System. ATLAs. Okay, what's special about it? It's run by the University of Hawaii, funded by NASA, and its, uh, its big thing is speed. It scans the entire sky every single night every 24 hours the whole sky every day yeah it's designed for exactly this kind of thing finding objects that might approach earth fairly quickly so it's like a constant um neighborhood watch for asteroids that's a good way to put it and it's been effective i think it's found over 700 near earth asteroids so far 700 wow so this connects to the uh the bigger nasa mission right Finding yeah. potential threats. Exactly. It's all part of planetary defense. The goal is always to identify potentially hazardous asteroids well in advance. Years in advance, hopefully. Ideally, yes. Yeah. Years, even decades. Enough time to, you know, potentially do something about it. Like that DART mission we saw where they actually uh, nudged an asteroid. Precisely. DART proved the concept. If we have enough warning, deflection technology could work. So ATLS is kind of the, the early warning part of that whole strategy? It's a critical part of it, yes. Finding them is the first step. Where are these ATLIS telescopes? Are they all in one place? No, they're spread out. There are four telescopes in the system locations in Hawaii, South Africa, and Chile. Ah, for global coverage. Makes sense. Right. And they have an incredibly wide field of view. Apparently, each one can survey an area like a hundred times larger than the full moon in one go. A hundred times the moon. That's Hard to even picture. It allows them to cover that huge expanse of sky really efficiently. It really puts things in perspective. These near misses are happening, and we often don't even know until afterwards. Mm -hmm. And while this one, 2023 EY, wasn't a danger, it's a, well, a useful reminder of why this work matters. Absolutely. It's kind of mind-boggling, the tech and the effort involved in keeping watch. Vital stuff for you know planetary safety. And just understanding our solar system better. It's a dynamic place. Indeed. Well, thanks for breaking that down. It's incredible to think about these cosmic close calls. Stay tuned for more such intriguing stories to come.